I know you're following me. Show yourself, Suigetsu. <laughs> you actually noticed me following you. Nice work. Same old Sasuke Uchiha. <laughs> Still, that was pretty cold, leaving me behind like that. I told you. I could tell when you were following me. So you knew and you just let it ride? You've got a nasty streak in you, you know that? Sigetsu, come with me. I can count on you for power. That makes you valuable. Thanks for the kind assessment, but where are you even going? For now, just be quiet and follow me. <laughs> Ordering me around like a big shot, huh? Let me clarify the relationship between you and me, all right? Look, this isn't personal, okay? Heck, I'm not even opposed to following you. But it's important to start things off right. Let's find out who's stronger here. You or me? <laughs> Fine, if that makes you happy. Flexible thinking, I like that. Let's get this over with. We're wasting time. Just as I said. Alright, follow me. Now, was that clear enough for you? I see. I've been hearing rumors about how strong you are for ages. All true, apparently. Fine, I'll follow you. <laughs> so where are we going? You'll tell me that much, right? To the southern hideout. And the northern hideout. Huh? You mean... Two others. I'm taking Karin and Jugo. I'm not really too hot on either of them, you know? I might not be able to play nice. You don't need to be friends. Just cooperate. Well, I'll try. So, which way do we go? We'll go to the southern hideout first, to meet Kati. I don't know about choosing her, not to mention her personality.
the southern hideout would be this way, right? Huh? What's wrong? Is there something there? Release. Look at that. It's a ninjutsu Orochimaru planted to keep outsiders away from the hideout. You don't say. Let's go. Coming. Huh? What the? Isn't this... keep people from getting close to the southern hideout. It's gonna be tough going forward in this soup. What are we gonna do? First, we'll release the barrier. How? There should be three tags somewhere nearby. If we peel them all off, the mist will disappear. What? That's all? That's easy enough. Just move carefully. Follow me, Sugitsu. Next one, Sasuke. Hey, I found it. Just one more left. Should we go on, Sasuke? No. It looks like there's one last trap. Huh? Copies of us? Even if the barrier's down, they won't let us advance so easily. Interesting. I was just thinking I wanted to cut loose. Deal with them quickly so we can move on. I know, I know. Oh! 
not even close. I thought I'd be able to play a bit more. That was a complete letdown, wasn't it, Sasuke? Come on. We're heading for the southern hideout. You know, it probably wouldn't kill you to play along just a little. you two. <laughs> it's been a long time, Kai. I hear Orochimaru is dead. Without a chaperone, I see. So it wasn't just a rumor, was it? That's right. And? What brings you here? I'll get straight to the point. Kai, follow me. I need you. Huh? Why would I follow you? I'm under orders to oversee this place. Orochimaru is already gone. What about the prisoners here? Sigetsu, release everyone who's held prisoner here. Man, you always order people around. Without prisoners, there won't be any need for a warden. What'll you do? a quick change of heart after thinking it over i realized i'm tired of guarding this place since you're so adamant i'll come with you oh yeah so karin's on board then huh Don't get yourself in such a twist. I did go, but I came back to ask where the key was. <sighs> but hey, mission accomplished, huh? Good for you, Sasuke. Who, who said I'm coming? I just, I, I just... What? You're not coming after all? I, uh, I, I'll go. <laughs> I figured you'd just be a pain in the neck, but... You're actually kind of cute, you know that? Sweet Getsu, you jerk! We're leaving for our next destination right away. Sweet Getsu, stop wasting time and set those prisoners loose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Karin, hurry up and tell me where the key is. Shut up! Don't you order me around. That just leaves Juno. going next uh to the northern hideout to get jugo right right we'll head back to the east hideout first well, well, hold on you're not seriously thinking of finding that guy are you what of it i'm telling you don't do it that guy is not a team player trust me i know i had to fight him once but sasuke says he's in so what do you want me to tell you come on we're going hey wait you heard the man, Karin. Let's go.
Uh, I'm tired of walking. It's just trudge, trudge, trudge everywhere we go. Sasuke, I don't know what your plans are, but do you really need Jugo? What are you trying to say? He's too dangerous. If you're going to rethink this, you better do it now. What makes you think he's so dangerous anyway? Did you know that he came to let Orochimaru capture him, on purpose? I heard rumors, yeah. It made me think he was a nutcase, but... Orochimaru's hideout is like a sanctuary for him. He wants to be fixed. Fixed? What's wrong with him? He wanted to repress his ever-growing, seemingly bottomless, completely out of control impulse to kill. A killer, huh? So what? That just means he loves to fight. No, you don't get it. He usually has that unusual impulse well under control. But when he loses it, he transforms into a ruthless killer. <sighs> The things some people hide. But to Orochimaru, Jugo's ability was enticing. From Jugo's body fluids, he invented an enzyme that induced the same condition in other ninja. An enzyme? I'm sure you know where I'm going here. I'm talking about the curse mark. The curse mark? But that's... Hey, Sasuke, didn't he give you... We don't have time to waste on all this talking. Come on, we're going. Wait, Sasuke.
northern hideout, finally. Come on, we're going. What's this? I can't sense any chakra at all from inside. There's nobody here. Was the northern hideout always like this? No, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Huh? Who's that? That voice. And this chakra. Jugal! Who are you? Jugal, there's somebody who wants to talk to you. Talk to me? Come with me, Jugal. I need your power. Go with you? Huh? Hey, he looks kind of... You fool! I'm not following anyone! I'm my own man! All I'm gonna do is enjoy the destruction! It's no good! He's gone completely wild! I won't be bound by anyone! I'll crush anything I want! Chugo, listen to me. <laughs> I'll obliterate you just like I did these things here! No! I knew it! Jugo's killed the prisoners! <laughs> crush! 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 Man, if he's gonna be like this, what's the point? Get back, Sasuke. I'll take care of him. Suigetsu, don't. I think we're past the point where talking to him's gonna help. No way around it, I guess. I'll help you too. We can't get out of here without stopping this guy anyway. Bring it! All of you! I'll crush you all! Here he comes! Go! Yeah. Here I go! No, no. Bit more. 
Ha <laughs> Whew, he's pretty tough. <laughs> Not bad. I think you might offer up a bit of fun. It's no good. He's not coming down at all. Jugo! What? Are you gonna take a shot at me next? <laughs> Bring it on! You watch. I'll crush you too. We're going to have to get him calmed down first. Come on! Entertain me more! We'll cover you, Sasuke. Here I go. Have you calmed down a bit? Who... Who are you people? What is that? It looks as though the impulse has subsided, and his personality is back to normal. Jugo, come with me. I can't. I told you before, remember? I could snap at any time. Don't worry. I will become your cage. I will stop you. You'll... stop me? Yeah. What can you do? The only one who can stop my urges is Kimimaro. Kimimaro? You mean in the Kaguya clan? Right. He was favored by Orochimaru, and he was the one person Jugo would open up to. 
Kimimaro was strong too. When Jugo was on one of his rampages, Kimimaro was the only one who could stop him without hurting him. Kimimaro died for me. He's gone. He died for you? Then you're Sasuke Uchiha. That's right. You're... Kimimaro said you would be a vessel to take his place. You would be like his reincarnation. Kimimaro... I'll say it one more time. Come with me. All right. You are Kimimaro's reincarnation. Kimimaro gave his life protecting you. I want to see how great a ninja you actually are. <laughs> Now that I've gathered the perfect team, here's my plan. My goal is to kill Itachi Uchiha of the Akatsuki. I want your help. Thought so. I saw some of that coming. From this point on, we move together. I'm not asking you to get along, but just cooperate as a team. Yeah, yeah. And henceforth, we will call ourselves the Hebi. The Hebi has but one objective. Itachi Uchiha. Split up and move separately from this point on. I want all of you to gather information about Itachi. Guess I haven't got a choice. Right, I'll be back. 
Okay, I'll go too. Who goes there? Show yourself. Uh-oh. We've been spotted, Daedara. <laughs> nice work, noticing us. Hello. Those robes. I'm Toby. I'm new here. Go easy on me. Oh, and this is my senior. Shut up, Toby. Just be quiet a bit. Yes, sir. You're Sasuke Uchiha, huh? <laughs> I can't believe Orochimaru lost to a brat like you. The Sharingan, eh? He really is Itachi's little brother. <laughs> you were only able to kill Orochimaru because of that Uchiha blood. <laughs> You're just blessed with good genes, so quit acting so smug. Why, you... Toby, check out that glare. This guy will be worth playing with. Hmm. Oh man, we'll have to apologize to Itachi later. You two are going to tell me about Itachi. Sure, if you win, we'll tell you whatever you want. Hmm. This is perfect! Fire 
Just getting started. You, you gonna keep going? Stand back, Toby. Hey, Dada. I'm gonna go all out this time. You're in the way. <laughs> Come on, let's just give up. You heard the mask. There's no point in fighting any longer. You lose. Now start talking about Itachi. What? You think you've won already? Treat me like an idiot, will you? I'll make you lose that cool of yours. You're gonna grovel before my art and be terrified of me. <laughs> I'll show you my extra special art.
No matter how often we do this, the results won't change. I'm still going to win. I, I'm losing to this guy? Answer me. Where is Itachi? <sighs> You're at your limit, too. <laughs> I'm going to win this match. I still have detonating clay left. <sighs> oh, come on. Aren't you even a little scared? Hmm? I'm about to crush you with my art, you hear? <laughs> That's what annoys me about you the most. You think you're just so cool. And those eyes make me sick, always judging me and my art. You have no appreciation of the beauty of a true master's work, and it makes me want to kill you. <sighs> I couldn't possibly care less about what you want. I just want to know where Itachi is. <laughs> is that how little you fear me? Show you my biggest, ultimate, maximum explosion! Is he going to... One that shall scar the very earth itself and receive rave reviews from all my critics! For with my death, I shall become art! Struggling is useless. You can't run from an explosion. You're doomed to disintegrate here. Big Brother? Big Brother! What's wrong, Sasuke? What do you mean, what's wrong? Today is the day you promised to check my shuriken jutsu, isn't it? Sorry. I have an important mission tomorrow. I have to study, so... Oh, you're a liar! <sighs> Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. Suske. Sasuke. <sighs> Looks like he's awake. You. Why are you here? That was freaky. We came running to the side of the explosion, and then we couldn't find you anywhere. I found you for them. Only because there was nothing else to do. You better be grateful! It's amazing you made it out of that explosion alive. Even from a distance, we could tell it was pretty bad. I used a summoning, right before the explosion, moved to a different space. 
I see. That's how you survived the blast. And then you passed out. So, who was the other guy? He must have been something else if he was able to push you that far. Wait, was he one of the Akatsuki? Yeah, he put up more of a fight than I thought he would. Pathetic! I can't believe you're the one who actually took down Orochimaru! Orochimaru's illness made him weak, that's all. Huh. Whatever, you still need to take a little break. What's wrong? I had a rather unpleasant dream. A dream? It's nothing. So you're all here. What is it this time? Daedara is dead. That's another member we've lost. And I always thought he was one of the stronger ones. So, who killed him? Sasuke Uchiha. What? Again? Your brother really does surpass all expectations, Itachi. And... What about the other one? What about Toby? He seems to have been caught up in Daedara's explosion. <laughs> well, Toby had a talent for lightening the mood of this gloomy organization. More's the pity. That one is easy enough to replace. The loss of Daedra, however, is unfortunate. In any case, pay attention to Sasuke's movements from now on. Especially you two, Itachi and Kisame. Understood. Consider me on it. I must go. Let us all try to mourn Daedra's passing. Alright. Shall we go as well? So the time has come. You sure you're all right, Sasuke? Yes, I'm fine. I've been healing a lot faster since I absorbed Orochimaru's power. So this is the power of the White Snake, huh? So where are we going next? Did you find anything during that last round of investigation? We were able to track down some general intel on the Akatsuki, but nothing pertaining directly to Itachi. Same here. I spoke with animals and found several leads about a man believed to be Itachi. It seems a shadow that maybe him has been seen in the lands ahead of here. Huh. So... Jugo, show us the way, right now. I knew he'd say that. Itachi, no matter where you are, I will find you and settle this with my own hands. Let's go. So where's Itachi? To the north of here. Apparently he was spotted up that way. Good.
He's around here. The animals told me they saw Itachi nearby. Great. We'll split up here and look for Itachi. If you find him, you're not to engage him under any circumstance. I want you to contact me immediately. I know. See ya. It won't be long now. It's been a long time. Who... Who are you? It's me. Sasuke. Itachi... Uchiha... You look taller. You haven't changed at all. Your eyes are still cold. of that night. The younger version of me could only comprehend them as a mirage at first. I desperately wanted to believe I was trapped in a horrible genjutsu, but there was no mistake. I was trapped in reality. I'm not the boy I was back then. Now I have the strength to obliterate you. <laughs> what impressive confidence. Right here, right now, I will put an end to the nightmare.
this response. Don't tell me this guy is... You've gotten stronger. <laughs> Meet me at the Uchiha hideout. Alone. We'll settle this there. <sighs> Sasuke! You... Why are you here? Karin spoke of a massive clash of chakra. Yours and another heavy hitter's. We got worried and came to check on you. Sasuke, what on earth happened? Follow me. We're leaving. The Uchiha hideout. I'll settle everything there. Chapter 5, Brothers. So, where are you going? To the Uchiha hideout. The Uchiha hideout? To settle this, once and for all. I don't mind coming along, but where on earth is the Uchiha hideout? What are you looking at? Is there something in that direction? Release! Whoa, didn't expect to find a passage here. You'd need Uchiha blood to find that one. Let's go. Something's coming. <laughs> You're... Only Sasuke passes this point. Orders from Itachi. Why don't the rest of you wait here, hmm? All right. Besides, we were only traveling as a cell in order to prevent interference. You three wait here. Now then, Hisame Hoshigaki and the broadsword known as Sharkskin. Hmm? How do you know that? Have you forgotten the younger brother of Nangetsu Hozuki? Suigetsu Hozuki? Ah, you sure have grown, Suigetsu. Waiting around for Sasuke to return will be a bit of a bore. Care to play around with me? You're quite impetuous, unlike your brother. But I'll grind the fight right out of you. Of course, if your friends would like to join in, they're more than welcome. <laughs> I want this so bad I can taste it. Let's kick this off already, Master Kisame. Yeah. <laughs> 
Better than I expected. I'm gonna take that broadsword of yours. Take my shark skin, eh? <laughs> Unfortunately, you still aren't powerful enough for that. What did you say? I haven't gotten serious yet. Oh, yeah? Maybe you should do that then. <laughs> I truly wish I could, but sadly, I'm not allowed. Orders from up top. Up top? That's right. You kids will have to be told someday, too. What do you mean? <laughs>
Itachi is in there. The time to settle this has come. Itachi, I'll show you this hatred of mine. All of it. you ask father? You're better at shuriken jutsu. Even I can tell that. Why do you always treat me like such a pest? Sasuke. Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. <laughs> Why? Why did you... If you want to kill me, then learn to hate me. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. There are plenty of things I hate, but I don't see that it matters, considering there's almost nothing I like. It seems pointless to talk about dreams. That's just a word. But what I do have is determination. I plan to restore my clan, and there's someone I have sworn to kill. So you're here. Sasuke. I'm going to sever all ties with you. <laughs> you sound quite fired up. When I think that I'll be able to bury you here, power surges up inside me. <laughs> bury me, hmm? Before that, I have one thing to ask. What could you want to know now? That night, the night you destroyed the Uchiha clan, did you really do that alone? Why would you think that? For no matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire clan. There must have been someone else there that night. <laughs> so you realized. Who was it? Who helped you? Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha? One of the founders of the Hidden Leaf Village. An immortal man who was both my comrade and my mentor. A founder? Then how could he still be alive? Madara is alive. Whether you want to believe me or not is your choice. Quit joking around! Every single one of us lives depending on and bound by our knowledge and awareness. And we call it reality. However, both knowledge and awareness are equivocal. One's reality might be another's illusion. What are you trying to say? That you thinking Madara is dead is just your arbitrary assumption. Your eyes haven't grasped a single truth. You don't see anything. It's true that I don't know anything about Madara, but... There's one thing that even my eyes see just fine. <laughs> and what do they see? What I'm seeing right now, Itachi, is you dead at my feet. Feet, eh? Hey? Let's get to it. No, 
my hatred. You can't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the death you had imagined for me? <coughs> you really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. <coughs> now it comes for real. Susano. Susano. Go, <laughs> go, 
some distance.
Honestly, I guess there's no choice. Why would you do You're something like this? You're little brother. Settle for hating me. You promised to teach me new shuriken jutsu. Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. Big brother. You're so far away. It's just the two of us. I'll always be with you, you know.
I treated your wounds. Itachi is dead. You won. We've met once before, although we were enemies then. Don't worry. I don't hold Daedara's death against you. I'm not your enemy. I brought you here in order to tell you something. Something? Yes. It's about Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> you think you know everything about your brother, but you actually don't. How do you know about Itachi? All right. I suppose I should start by introducing myself. I, like you, am an Uchiha survivor. And one of the few who know the truth about your brother. What was that? The Amaterasu, which Itachi seems to have implanted in you. <gasps> Leave it to Itachi to set a post-mortem trap. I can't believe how well he plans ahead. What are you talking about? In order to keep me away from you, Itachi placed a jutsu in you. He really must have wanted to stop you hearing the truth from my lips. <laughs> What are you talking about? Itachi did something to you before he died. <gasps> At the very end, he transferred his own ocular powers to you. What are you saying? Is there a point to all this? Why would Itachi do such a thing? Don't you get it? <gasps> he was trying... to protect you. Protect me? Are you kidding? He's my enemy. He killed our parents, destroyed our clan, and he... I told you. You think you know about your brother, but you know nothing. Shut up! What do you know about Itachi? Itachi did mention it, did he not? He was not alone that night. <gasps> That's right. I... I'm Madara Uchiha. I know everything about Itachi. I know what he thought, what he wished, what he loved, and what he risked to fight. I know all of it. Your duty is to hear about the truth and life of Itachi Uchiha. It's your obligation. He... Itachi fought me. He's tortured me for years. It's a fact that he destroyed our clan. He destroyed the Uchiha! And if that were a mission he'd received from the Hidden Leaf Village? <gasps> That's just the beginning of the truth about Itachi. <gasps> That's right. Itachi completed his assignment that night by slaughtering everyone. But I still don't understand. <laughs> All ears now, I see. He... Itachi ended up being a sacrificial pawn in a long-standing power struggle. Sacrificial pawn? The Hidden Leaf Village. It is a large village now, but waves of history churn at its base, in particular. Discrimination towards the Uchiha. Discrimination towards the Uchiha? Originally, the Hidden Leaf Village was formed by a group of ninja who'd previously been in conflict. Our Uchiha clan was among them. When the Hidden Leaf Village was founded, our clan held central power along with the other clans. But after we failed to take the seat of the first Hokage, the Uchiha gradually fell from power. 
I, the Uchiha leader, despaired at our fall, and at last I left the village. After I'd gone, the Uchiha continued to lose power, and finally, they were treated as nuisances in the village. In the end, the Uchiha weren't needed. They were discriminated against. Of course, there were those who couldn't accept that. It's only natural. In order to retake power for the Uchiha, and above all else to regain their pride, they hatched a plan. A plan? To take over the Leaf Village with your father as leader. A coup d'etat, you could say. The Uchiha clan? A coup d'etat? And my... my father? The leader? The Hidden Leaf Village leaders caught wind of the plot and sent in a spy to watch the Uchiha clan. That spy was your older brother, Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> the Uchiha clan or the Hidden Leaf Village. It's hard to imagine what Itachi felt as he chose between them. He ultimately chose the Hidden Leaf Village. So why... Why would Itachi betray the Uchiha? The Third Great Ninja War. What he saw made Itachi put the peace and stability of the village first. All wars are hell. The village leaders took advantage of Itachi's feelings and gave him a mission. That mission was the eradication of the entire Uchiha clan. <gasps> At the time, Itachi worried and fretted and agonized. He was mired in terrible distress, considered rationally. One could never raise his hand against fellow clansmen. If the Uchiha coup d'etat were to go ahead, the village would crumble, and other villages would attack. It could have easily become the trigger for the fourth Great Ninja War. The selfish act of the Uchiha clan would lead to the deaths of many innocents. That had to be avoided at all costs. And so, Itachi made his decision that he himself would drop the curtain on his own clan's history, which led to that night. It was a mission to become known as a criminal who murdered his own clan, to bear the burden of disgrace, all planned. It was all part of the mission. Itachi brilliantly discharged the plan, his mission, except for a single mistake. Even after he closed his heart and become a demon of destruction, there was one person, just one, whom Hitachi could not kill. His little brother. Afterwards, Hitachi appealed to the third Hokage, beseeching him to protect you. He fled the village after threatening other leaders never to harm Sasuke. He worried about you above all else. That's a lie. It's got to be a lie. It is the truth. You're lying. You tried to kill me over and over. If Itachi really had wanted to kill you, you would most certainly be dead. And Itachi had a reason to pressure you. <sighs> Itachi arranged everything about that battle. He wanted to free you of the curse mark and Orochimaru, and by having you defeat him, he wanted to set you up as the hero who avenged the Uchiha clan. No, I won't believe it. He's, Itachi's evil. He's a criminal. He slaughtered our clan and became an Akatsuki. was part of Itachi's plan as well. Become an Akatsuki, then spy on the organization from the inside. Even after betraying his clan and leaving, 
Itachi's heart lay with a hidden leaf, and most of all, with you. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a fact to never happen. It isn't a lie. He thought more of you then. Stop it! It's all a bit. You're alive, aren't you? As a result, your eyes didn't see through Itachi at all. Itachi killed his friends, his superiors, his lover, his father, and his mother. But his little brother alone, he could not kill. He killed all of his own emotions, save for crying tears of blood and slaughtered his own flesh and blood. But he just couldn't bring himself to kill you. Do you understand what that means? To him, your life was more precious than even the village. Until the very moment of his death. No, even after he died, by allowing you to defeat him, he achieved revenge against the Uchiha clan by making you out to be the Leaf's hero. Ravaged by illness, painfully aware of his impending death, he forcefully prolonged his life with medication. He had to fight you and die in front of you. For the peace of the Hidden Leaf Village. And most of all, for you, Sasuke Uchiha. He desired to die a criminal and a traitor. Accepted disgrace in the place of honor and hate in the place of love. And Itachi still died with a smile on his face. He bequeathed to you the Uchiha name, still fooling you to the very end. That is the truth behind Itachi Uchiha. That is how your brother lived. What's wrong, Sasuke? What do you mean, what's wrong? Today is the day you promised to check my shuriken jutsu, isn't it? Sorry, I have an important mission tomorrow. I have to study, so... Oh, you're a liar! <sighs> Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. <laughs> so to make up for it, I have to piggyback you? Man. Hey, big brother. You're gonna help me with my training next time for real, right? I will. But I'm going to start getting assigned missions. We're not gonna have as much time to ourselves anymore. That's okay. As long as we can be together once in a while. Then it's okay. Sasuke. You are... Hoyle. Uh. Oh. Sorry, Sasuke. This is it.
We have shed the skin of the snake. We are no longer the Hebi. From this day on, our team will be the Hawk. We are the Taka. Taka shall have but one motive. We exist. To destroy the Hidden Leaf Village. The hawk screamed. Just once into the void. It was a sad voice. An empty voice. And... A voice full of rage. The boy who bore the burden of his ruined clan now quietly turns a lethal knife on that place. Now the curtain rises on war. The revenge of truth, a reckoning of the past. Mourning for his dead brother in his heart. The tale of a new Sasuke Uchiha. Begins now. Pain. He's here. And Sasuke? He looked well. He had ample control over the power of the Sharingan. The time is ripe. The Hidden Leaf Village should also start to act soon. What about the Nine Tails? Take him down with Konan. Do not fail. Understood. Be on your guard just in case. Naruto Uzumaki. He is no longer just a boy. And now he has rather considerable jutsu, as well as many comrades. It won't be easy. It's useless telling us to fear our target. Pain has never lost. <laughs> well, that's true. Chapter 6. The Tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Hey, Tsunade. Oh, Jiraiya. This is unusual. You never visit out of the blue like this. Well, I've got my hands on some unusual information. Unusual information? Brace yourself. We've located the leader of the Akatsuki. You... you what? Is that true? Details. Tell me everything. And that's the sum of it. I see. The Hidden Rain Village, huh? Right. The head of the Akatsuki is somewhat revered there. They call him Pain. That's a very reclusive village. Investigating this won't be easy. Yeah, that's why I've got to go in alone first to investigate. Uh, alone? No. It's too dangerous. Hey, relax, will ya? This is me we're talking about. Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sami, remember? But... I'm the only shinobi in this village who can get in and out of there in one piece, with the info we need. <sighs> Jiraiya, just come back alive. If 
I lost you too. <laughs> what? Are you gonna cry? Aw, oh, that makes my day. Hush, you fool. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I won't die so easily. Relax. I... I know. All right, I'll be off then. Nothing spoils as fast as fresh intel. Jiraiya. See you, Sanare. So, I'm headed for the Hidden Rain Village. I guess that means I go to Tenshi Bridge first.